done uh, everything we can to, to solve it, and I, I, I really believe that we will. Now at 5, several law enforcement agencies were in New Haven tracking down a suspect in Monday's homicide on the northeast side of Allen County. Good evening. A woman was found shot to death on Goldenrod Place Monday morning. Allen County and Fort Wayne Police tracked down leads quickly and found a suspect this morning. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson has been talking with police all day and has the latest investigation developments from Studio 15. Police did arrest a suspect and he was preliminarily charged with aggravated battery this morning. But then new information came in and he was released, at least for now. Police in the parking lot at Camden Court Apartments off Siler Road in New Haven. Fort Wayne Police Department gang unit found a possible location for him. The Fort Wayne gang unit and Allen County Sheriff's officers worked through the night to track down a suspect in the Goldenrod Place homicide. 25-year-old Quinetta Bright found shot to death inside her home on Monday. The investigation led officers to New Haven. They expected to find the suspect's girlfriend. Come to find out. He was there. They weren't expecting him to be there. The suspect was taken into custody and charged with aggravated battery, booked in the Allen County Jail. Other information that came to light uh, after the arrest was made, it was decided by the prosecutor's office to release him at this time until that new information is investigated. If charges are going to be filed, they will be. If they can be, they will be. Sheriff David Gladio says the neighborhood in the northeast side of the county does not need to be concerned that the shooting was an isolated incident and that it will be solved, even if that didn't happen today. What information is given to you at one point, uh, other information come in uh, later on in the investigation that could, that could counter that information or change it or what have you, and, and I think that's exactly what happened. And the prosecutor's office is just being cautious and they want to get it right, and uh, our detectives want to get it right. I think uh, they, they felt that the best thing to do at that time would be to release him. The sheriff says he's not sure when another arrest will happen, but we will keep you updated as this story continues to develop. In Studio 15, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.